just it, I was listening to you guys earlier. Um, and this is from a geocentric thing, but it is something when you mentioned it, it, it did ring a bell from the past. Um, what you're saying, and I, the thing that rung a bell was them saying, just ignore it. You know, when you're calculating, um, and you're doing it and you get the, and the, they admit you get these negative parallaxes, but the astronomical way of dealing with it, uh, is, as stated, just ignore it. Or turn, <laughs> um, so that was the bit I remembered, and I just went hunting a little bit. Uh, and the first two paragraphs are quite good. It's, uh, according to heliocentric, um, there should be no such thing as negative parallax. As you de detailed, it's impossible. Um, if parallax is rightly called so, that is, if it is an optical illusion of apparent movement due to Earth moving around the sun, then it follows there can only be parallax in one direction at a time. Earth cannot make its orbit around the sun by opposite ways uh, at once. The parallax must then be what is usually called parallax or positive parallax. If heliocentric does hear about negative parallax, he writes it down as bad measures. But if the measures for negative parallax are bad, so are those for positive. They are measured by the same tools. Epic. So this has been covered. That's epic. Yeah. Yeah, I actually measured negative parallax with uh, one of my friends once, and we just assumed that the instrument was wrong. Oh, I see. Isn't that mad? Like I said... What I didn't know, mate, was what on. you'd said. That I've assumed it was measured, and uh, there you saw that star go backward that night. But uh, what you're saying, and what I didn't know, was that it's just a different a retrograde position from the previous night there's still the movement is still the same i've probably never thought about it um to did see not, the moon uh, that's walking, interesting if you know what i mean <laughs> well uh, that's interesting because i did know that but it had still hadn't occurred to me uh, uh, makes it more mysterious if it's doing that as well though doesn't it because it takes it out of any model so well, what the retrograde what you guys are saying is that you will see the star trails, but you won't see any parallax day to day. That's what you're saying? Or in the same night? In the same night? So throughout a time lapse, I, I will look at this after the show's done, but in BLMS B69's videos, he's got two wandering stars, aka planets, that are at significantly different distances throughout the night with no parallax. Mm. 